Why is almost everything terraforming? Hello everyone, I'm Petravidi. Welcome back to my Let's Play, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we went over to Master Kaipura, or Gaibora, in order to know more about the Song of the Goddess. We went over here and we started spinning those things, and we got to uh, Elding and repair the Scrapper. We actually did a lot of stuff last episode. This episode, we're gonna come over here to the tower that just activated. And we're gonna, we're gonna go through a couple more side quests that we can actually go through now that we have Scrapper with us. So... Yep, get two of them on, and this is what happens. The symbol appears, and we should be able to play now. Got it. So this actually points us to the thunder cloud. Okay, I guess that's an opening then. So we might as well go there. Master, there is a high probability that this beam of light will lead us to clues as to whereabouts of the three flames. I recommend that you investigate to what lies at the end of this beam of light. A thunderhorn. I just said so. Well, before leaving... Actually, can I jump off like this? Yes, I can. I actually want to go towards... Uh, Lanairu right now, because there will be a cutscene... Uh, I keep saying cutscene instead of side quest. There will be a side quest available to us in this direction. Coming up. Before going to the Thunder Cloud. Come this way. There will be another one right over here, another boost. Come on, boost. Come on, boost. There you go. So, now we ought to go right here and talk to this guy. Hello there, mister. What happened? Uh, what am I going to do? No use, it's all over. What's wrong? You see, the party wheel that I spin my, to my back flew off the island and fell down somewhere below the clouds. Without my party wheel, there's just no way I can make this island a place where people come to have fun. What can I do? It fell down below the clouds, so I guess I just, just give up on it. Give up! So I'm gonna look for it. How am I supposed to go get something that fell below the clouds? That's impossible. Your dousing ability can be calibrated to locate the Saturn that this person seeks. Or if you are searching for another object that someone has asked you to find, that target will be moved from the switch to this target. Do you wish to set the party wheel as your dousing target? Yep. Understood, Master. I will calibrate your dousing ability so that you can assign the party wheel as dousing target. There's a 90% chance that the item will have landed in Lanaru Desert if it fell in this vicinity. I recommend that you investigate in the desert. Uh, it could be so amazing if someone were to find it. Just think of the smiles of the children's faces. I'm not getting my hopes up, though. Well, if you remember correctly, we saw the thing. It's weird that we actually saw it before we actually knew about this guy. Because the guy actually had the thing. When we saw him, and like three minutes later, it was down there at the end of the desert. But we actually saw the thing, so let's go for it. And I'm just talking a lot, so hold on. I'm gonna just shut my mouth. And we're already at Lanaru, so I'm not cutting any of this trip. Like, it was a fast trip, so. <clears throat> Point to your preferred descent area, blah blah blah. And this time around, we're gonna go into the uh, desert. Desert entrance. 
Was sagt du groß? Ja. Yep. Sail both my way down here. I just wanted to go this way. And use, of course, this to get it open. Now we can climb up the, bar the vines. As you remember, we have to come through here to get a couple of things. So it's the same thing. You just come, you just come, you gotta come this way around as well. And maybe we can get a couple of rupees this time around because I need them to upgrade my beetle. Remember? Come on. Come on. And it's right here. I have identified the atom that the highly unusual man of Von Foil Island says we has lost. We can we can call the scrap shop robot to come and retrieve it. Would you like me to call the robot? Master, I will send over to the robot using telepathic transmission. <coughs> okay, come here, scrapper. <coughs> My god. It would it would have been fun if you could actually name this thing. But no, it had a name beforehand. Mr. Science, you called? Well, this place seems strangely familiar. So you want me to carry this thing? Okay, okay, you just sit tight there and stay out of my way, Master Shark Pants. Okay, you're really rude! Dang it! I'll be waiting for you in the sky, so don't take too long. Freaking annoying robot. Master, I suggest that we head back to the sky and return this parody quill to its owner as soon as possible. We will. I just want some rupees. And I'm pretty sure there will be some rupees here for me to find. Like these. I got 8 rupees. Is there any other rupees? I need only 2 more. Wow, 15 more. And there's also some ants. Oh my god, do I really have to go through this cutscene every time? Nintendo, that is the most annoying thing ever. And it fell down. But now we have 63 rupees, which is more than enough to actually upgrade our beetle. So let me just come this way. I actually never came through here because. My god, am I lost? Well, we had the stone cache the other way. I don't know, we only had to run through this. My god, I can easily get lost anywhere. That's sad. Okay, let's go up to the sky again. Meet you guys when with that weird, weird man. Okie dokie, we're all the way back to this island. Hello there, mister. He's still very sad. Here's your real things. If you want something else, just let me know. Is this? Is this? It is! It is! It is back again. Yahoo! My party wheel! Thank you so much! Now I can realize my dream of opening a fun foot island! Well, hey, I'm so happy! And I'll let you be my first customer, young man! Thank you so much! It's gonna be so much fun! And we get five gratitude crystals out of this guy. Which is half the reason why we're doing this. Helping people feels good. Yeah, right. Okay, and then you go talk to this guy. Joyful little man, I owe you everything for finding my wheel, and in my dream of creating my very own very smiley fun fun island has been realized for all to enjoy and laugh about and laugh at. Normally I charge 20 rupees to play, but since I owe ya, I'll let you play for your first game for free. Free is so much more fun than pay! 
Hey then, let me get tell you all about the rules. First thing you need to know is you'll be uh, shot out of a cannon. You'll fly way up there. Don't cry, little boy. It's perfectly mostly safe. Your goal is to dive into a cheery, colorful, rotating board. Land on a happy little colored space and you'll win rupee space on the color. But if you land on the gray space, I call the loser space, then I get to reach in and take a handful of your rupees. Isn't that fun? You can risk everything to win big here at Fun Fun Island, but it's a game of luck, so uh, don't come crying to me if you land on the loser space. <laughs> Super fun fortune rings and dodo balls will appear like magic. If you can pass through each and every one of the fortune rings, you'll increase the awesome rupee score multiplier. Woohoo! And the more rings you pass through, the slower the wheel will spin, making it easier to land on your target and win. But hitting one of those dodo balls will reset your multipliers and turn your smile upside down. And if you can't use your sailcloth while you're diving, did you get all that, little guy? Sounds like fun, right? Wanna give it a try? Sure! Actually, you have to do this in order to get 100%. Want me to explain the rules one more time? Nah. Righto, there's a brave little guy. Once you're ready, hop into the cannon in the center of the island. Plug your ears out, prepare the cannon. So this is a really, really good opportunity for you to get rupees as well as get a heart piece. If you get the perfect score first time, you will get a heart piece. Now, steady with your controller. There's a little trick. When you're diving, you can actually go like this to dive a little bit faster. That's a little trick I learned. Oh my god, I already missed one. Oh god, no, no, no. That's bad. I'm not gonna get it this time, but at least I need some rupees in order to keep playing. So, I'm gonna try my best. Times four. Times six. And times eight. That's the, that's the space you have to actually land on if you want the hard piece on. But you need a times 10 multiplier, so I'll see you guys in a sec when I go back to it. <laughs> whoop did do You landed on a fifth rupee space! Your multiplier is 8, so that means you win 400 rupees! Wowza! I've got a special prize for special people who can pass through 5 rings without touching a dodo ball and then land on a 50th rupee space. Here's hoping you got the so much to, dive, uh, to give dodo's high dive another world. 400 rupees! So I will try again, I'll see you guys when I get the piece of heart. There you go! It only took me one more try, so I'm impressed. And we got nine, 900 rupees with that. So we can now go buy the rest of the adventure pouch if we want to. <laughs> whoop it doo You land on a 50 rupee space! Your multiplayer is 10, so that means you win 500 rupees! Well sa! You pass on through all of the fortune rings, guess which little guy gets a special prize! Go on, guess! We get a piece of heart. So this is a third out of four, only one more to go. Here's our big bag of winnings, 500 rupees! So we got a lot of stuff. Now let's go to that Thunderhead. I keep calling it different names. But now that the, cut, the, the side quest is over, we are able to continue with the story. And with all the cutting and whatnot, um, I do believe I still have some time. If not, I will just give it an editing. <clears throat> but I plan to make this only one video up until we get the thunder, the thunderhead, thundercloud, thunderstorm, whatever. But the only way to enter this thunderhead is to enter through this little opening that the the light tower created. So you're just gonna have to do it this way. There you go. Oh my god! I just hit myself. And there's gonna be monsters in, inside of this place, so be careful. And prepare to kind of battle if you need to. This is a dangerous part of the sky. Haha. <laughs> yeah, such as that, those can actually lower your health. Really easy. But what we want to do is come all the way over here. Do we have any? Yes, we actually have one goddess cube over here. This is the one that was missing from my era before. So before entering the place and solving the puzzle, because we actually have to solve the puzzle, we'll go for that. Is it on the top or is it on the back? You would have to dive right here. But I do believe that it's the one on the back. So, keep going down. Oh, actually, dive faster. And we got here. So, let's see, where is it? There it is. 
And we got 300 rupees. So we got 1,200 rupees on our bag. And we still can carry a couple more. A couple hundreds more. We can carry up to, I think, 1,400. <clears throat> so now let's go up here and solve the puzzle. Cutscene. <laughs> My beacon is still over there. I have to let that out. Master Link, I have memories of this land. It is known as the Isle of Songs, signs indicate that it was left here for you to by the Goddess Master. However, I am unable to determine a means of entering the structure ahead. I suggest you investigate the area. Thank you, Vi. I have to do that every time we go into a new area. Don't you know? So let me take that out. And what we will do is that we will have all this come this way and then I'll turn this up like that and line all three of them up get all the barriers out and then get the bridge there you go <clears throat> my god it took me way too long it should not have got it should not have been so long for me to figure that out but it's been a while since I last did that puzzle so just, I'm gonna be compre comprehensive with myself. There's a bird statue here if you wanna save. And then, the rest of your life. So, get ready. And prepare a skyward strike. And I thought that was ready. And prepare for a cutscene. Which is gonna be the last of the video. Master Link, I have important information. When you struck the crest with a skyward strike from your sword, a message from the goddess awakened deep within my memory. The goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I guide you from my place at the edge of time. The sacred flames are three in number. To obtain it, you must also earn relics known as the Three Sacred Gifts. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with one of the gifts. Make use of the power of these gifts, and you will find your way to the purifying secret flames. Now, I bestow unto you a melody. It will serve you as a key, opening the first trial that awaits you deep in the wilds of Faron Woods. That song is called Farora's Courage. Its rousing melody will guide you. And you learn Farora's Courage. <clears throat> Master, you must overcome the trial set before you and obtain the three gifts to reach the secret flames. I have committed Farora's Courage to memory. Now you can use your dousing ability to search for the gate leading to the first trial you must face. I suggest you set out for Far and Woods as soon as you are ready. And after all that, that is gonna be everything for the episode guys, so thank you guys so very much for watching. And I will see you guys next time when we go to the Far and Woods. Not, not before upgrading our beetle and buying some stuff. See you guys then.